Tuesday, May 16th. I am vlogging here live from my office in McKinney, Texas. Not on the road this week. Um, and I have to kind of prop my phone up on my computer and raise it. And it's just a thing. I don't have a traditional camera here. For my afternoon vlog. Anyway, hey, happy Tuesday to you all. Um, very busy day today. Had a meeting with one of my guys in the office today. Got an incredible amount done. Happy, happy day. And uh, gonna wrap up here in a little while, then head home. Tonight is back to school night for some of the kids. Uh, one of my daughters, my younger daughter, has got a orientation at her new school. She goes to middle school um, next, this, this coming in the fall. And we have orientation there where my other daughter has been for two years. And then soccer practice this evening, and we get into the <clears throat> busy stuff again. Something interesting. There is a man that worked in this facility here where I am right now for about 40 years. And uh, when they were cleaning out his desk, he, he is retired and um, enjoying his retirement. When they cleaned out his desk, they found and gave me this. It's an old Apple computer sticker from 1970 something, maybe early 80s or something like that. He was kind of a pioneer in our office and in this industry for using Apple machines and Apple equipment when it was uh, not heavily used in a corporate environment back in the 70s and 80s and 90s. He did eventually most Windows machines, but anyway, kind of a neat little piece of history that was given to me being the resident Mac guy and the one that's the who has pushed back the hardest on using a Windows machine. I do have a Windows computer that I use for work, but I, I use my Mac more than the Windows machine. Anywho, gonna finish up here in a little bit and going to head home to go get stuff done with the kiddos. Gonna try to do a workout this evening and keep that routine running and uh, enjoying my week in town. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, sorry for the crappy lighting. The lighting in here is just terrible. Um, I have a lot of lighting on the side of my office and in the roof ceiling I have three big lights, then three, six, two, four, six, eight lights along the side of my office. Uh, but it's very yellow lighting, so sorry about the quality, the tone of light. Ooh. Bye. One of my YouTube subscribers and longtime friend and a current resident, but not from Little Rock, sent me a comment earlier today, which I really appreciated uh, via text regarding camera angles and those kind of things. It's a little bit tricky using, I use a little small adjustable tripod to hold my large camera, which works great. It's structurally, it's a, it's a good, good unit. I also use my big, fat, huge, tall monster Manfrotto tripod for doing the uh, time-lapse shots and other things like that. And I have a smaller Mi Photo tripod as well, but I use this little Bendy Joby mostly. The catch is getting the proper camera angle and then watching out for all the stuff on my glasses. If I look up, I have two lights over here and one light over there to try to do some fill lighting to avoid the shadows in my office at night because it is at home office because it's nine, it's 11 or nine o'clock. Camera angle is important uh, I've been doing a lot of research and looking into camera angles and what's the best angle to use for video. And this is what my research has, has led me to believe. And that is a slight upward angle, like my camera is currently very slightly upward, gives a little bit better angle than if it was more downward. An upward facing angle um, is a bit more natural looking than a downward angle and a little bit less harsh when it comes to lighting and to shadows and whatnot. Don't know, but I appreciate the comment. And if anybody has any tips or suggestions that they would like to leave me, please do so in the comments. Got home from work and had a nice dinner. My daughter who plays select soccer is actually looking for a new team and we have found we think we found a local team that she might be able to play for. They're looking for a goalkeeper. My daughter plays goalkeeper, which might be a nice, nice fit. And the nice thing about it is the practice facility 
is less about a mile from our house versus a 30 minute drive to where she currently practices. And then we do that drive at least two times a week, if not three, depending on the season and depending on what's going on. Having a facility a mile away would be hugely uh, beneficial to to Joan when I switch when I'm out of town, given my travel schedule and whatnot. After uh, after we looked at his team, I uh, had a chat with the head coach earlier today, very, very nice man. And we had a nice discussion, hopefully get Kate out there on Thursday, weather permitting to give the team a try and just see where things go. If you're not familiar with, with uh, select soccer, it's an annual contract. It's, a, it's an 11 month contract that the kids sign and the parents sign to from July 1st through the end of May. June is technically free agent month where they can go and practice with any team they want without a waiver because my daughter's current team looks like it's going to what they call blow up and not continue on. Then they got waivers early to go investigate other teams. You're obligated by contract not to go work out with another team or to go talk to other coaches and organizations until you get a release. And she got the release last week from her coach as did I think majority of her team, again, because we're not gonna make it for next year. Which is pretty exciting for Kate to get a local team, uh, two or three, four of her classmates are on the team. So it's gonna be nice for her to find a, a home where she'll have some local friends and, and again, the, local, the localness of the team. Otherwise, this evening was kind of quiet. We watched Fixer Upper. If you're a Fixer Upper fan, um, like and subscribe. <laughs> If you're not a fixer up a fan, like, like, and subscribe. I don't discriminate. We watched that show, watched one episode of that, and then put the kids off the bed at about 8.45. Uh, everybody's just tired. On a weekend and having that day off, a day off just really messes things up. Having a short week just kind of messes things up for everybody a little bit. That's it for right now. I am going to sign off, get this thing edited, uploaded, and go to bed. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate you being here. Questions, comments, scribes, complaints, let me know below. Like and subscribe, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night.